Uh, hi there, so today I'm here to show you uh, how do I make crochet. Um, I made a triangular scarf and then you will see on my Instagram account. And here is um, the graphic. So you can um, take a print screen or come back here after the video uh, to see how we are going to work this. I'm going to explain how to work. So this is this is the black point it's where we start for that we are gonna need the material of this class is i'm working with a 4.5 millimeters crochet hook and uh, cotton yarn so yeah you can have yours and here is uh, the pattern that we are working the black point it's where we start and we are gonna work a circle then we're gonna make the turning chain and double crochet three times two chains and four times double crochet and then again turning chain double crochet chain double crochet two chains and double crochet and then we go repeating this is all the pattern meaning chain and double crochet that's all you have to know here we have uh, in French the explanation, but then in French uh, don't disregard it. It means uh, beginning, chain, and double crochet. That's all you have to know. And here we go. So that way, let me open the book here. Okay, so now I'm going to start my magic circle here they explain it you can there are many ways you can make this one way is the way i'm gonna do it right here so i'm gonna make one two three four five chains one two three four five and then i close my circle And I make my turning chain three chains and now I make three double crochets at the same time I'm gonna hide my yarn over there so I'm gonna make here the book crochet just following what is there one two three double crochets Okay, and now two chains, and now one, two, three, four double crochets. So this is for you who already know what is a double crochet, because I'm not showing you here how to make it, I'm gonna show you how to read the pattern so here I am on my third one and I need four so I have my first row of the pattern done here it is okay now we're gonna keep going Uh, I'm gonna keep going so now I'm here turning chain one two three chains and double crochet one two three times on the same stitch so it means here on the same first stitch I'll make three double crochets I made the first one second and third okay now chain and one two three double crochets there in the middle see i'm reading the pattern so 
I made three double crochets with the turning chain on my first stitch here and now I made a chain there and again three double crochets in the middle of my stitch over there. Three double crochets and one, two chains. One, two chains. So this here, I'm gonna keep doing it. Now it's asking me more three double crochets. So it's gonna be symmetrical. And you can make it until the size you want. And then you create a scarf. A triangular scarf or me because I'm making samples to show to you uh, I use the samples later for for scrubbing my face you know when I want to remove my makeup at night and it's it's pretty nice I'm gonna make like a little sample here for you so then after I show you in my Instagram also you can go check I'm gonna post the result of the sample but you you can make the sample and keep doing it if you want to make a scarf me i'm going to stop on a small sample just to show to you then i made there my other three double crochets now it's asking me a chain and one two three four double crochets on the last stitch so here it is on the last stitch is over there I'm gonna make here four double crochets and I'm gonna make in the middle here one two three and four so yes when I say uh, actually see here I made a uh, I made a mistake because I didn't insert my hook on the right place. So let me put the white background. And I'm gonna show you where I want to insert my hook. Not here. I want to insert it there. You, see, you remember that we are used to take only the two V's, the V, <laughs> that we make it here on the hook. So that's it. I did insert like taking all the whole hole that I have here. No, I inserted like taking the only the V there and in the middle. Okay, so now I make my four double crochets. I'm gonna show you the difference but what the difference it makes depending where we insert our hook so here it's already much better um, yeah it's much better so see it depends where you insert your hook more or less openings you will have so I'm going to make one more row and then I'm going to finish my sample. Remember that you can keep working to the size you wish to make a scarf for you. So now I'm in row three. So here I go. Turning chain, three chains and three double crochets just over there. And now one chain, three double crochets in the here on the top of my chain of the last row. Three, 
right there. And here it's okay. I can take it this all out my need. I can insert the hook in all this part here. I don't have to go look for the V. So I insert there and make the three double crochets that are asking me that it that the book is asking us to do. And now again one chain, three double crochets in the middle here. And now two chains, one, two, and again three double crochet, so symmetrical. Now one chain and three double crochets right there on the top of my previous chain. All right, and a chain between them and the last one, four double crochets on the last stitch. Here we go, here we make sure we are taking the right spot so it means the V over there and here we go oops let me go back okay so this is it and then after you just you are just gonna follow the logic which is always you have one row extra so you keep doing it four double crochets in the beginning chain three double crochets and then making sure you are making them on the right spot and you just keep doing it until you have a scarf me i'm gonna now show how to make like the finishing so is this part here that we see you see here that she's wearing a uh, yellow and green on the edge you see the green color so that's what i'm gonna show you how to do now the edges and here it is so now how we are going to do it. This shows how we finish our work. Uh, double crochet, chain, double crochet. And here it's like it's showing just in a straight line what we have done so far. And now what is asking us to do is make a single crochet in each stitch. So that's what I'm going to do now, single crochet for each stitch. And here, yes, I'm taking uh, all the Vs. Uh, this part here, I'm not sure, but I will try, you know. So, single crochet for each stitch. Just this is what is asking us to do right here. Single crochet is represented by the X.
So I'm going to make it on the other side and I meet you when I arrive here to the end. Actually, no, I changed my mind. So I'm here. I just arrived to the top here of my triangle. And now you see, I'm not going to bother to enter on the V's that I was explaining to you. I'm just going to do here on the on the corner one and two single crochets at once and now I restart to take to insert my crochet on the V like this here it's the V that I mean so you take this part you know about that it's just that English is not my first language so sometimes it's difficult for me to explain some things and I'm sure you understand so here I arrive again to this point where I was showing you to enter your crochet like on the V spot, but no, don't need it. I'm just going to enter right, right there and that's it. Now I go back to my V spots where I take to make my single crochet. I hope it's clear. If it's not, it will be very nice if I can answer any of your questions. You can write me there if you, there is anything else that you would like to see, you know. I can bring here, like every week I'm going to bring something. Because I like to exchange. I like the to exchange uh, with everyone watching me here, there. Okay, so thank you for being watching. Here now I made all the single crochets that are asked to do. And now I'm going to make this part here, which means one, two, three, four chains. And then again, one, two, three, four on each single crochet that we made. So here is the end, the last one, single crochet. And now four chains, one, two, three. You know what? I'm going to change crochet hook for a smaller one to make this part one second okay so here I am and now let's keep doing reading our chart one two three four in each single crochet we make four chains here it is one two three four and I go insert it on the next single crochet right there and then I make one, two, three, four, and I inserted my hook for a single crochet cycle again, four times. One, sorry, there is a hair. Okay, this is my cat's fur. <laughs> sorry, two, three, Four, and here we go single crochet on the next stitch one two three four and there it is we are gonna make it to the end and in the end we will have a triangle shaped I'll keep doing it and I come back to meet you all right, so here I have arrived to the end and I'm going to make the last stitch there. And for this, I'm going to do my single crochet and finish my work. Now I just going to hide to hide my my yarn, and this is what I wanted to show you today. Here, <laughs> I hope you like it. Okay, um, now I'm just gonna hide my yarn, and if you wanna check pictures or follow more of the work, 
go check my Instagram and I want to see you again. So you bring me new ideas of what you want to see and then we keep sharing knowledge and learning with each other. See you!